for years, people try to downplay what Long Island is and what Long Island represents. Nassau County and Suffolk County has a lot of history. But for years now, we say we're from Long Island and people say, oh, you're not from the city. Man, you guys got it good over there. Certain parts of every place you go has their good areas and has their bad areas. Now, I'm not here to glorify crime and what goes on. I'm not here to glorify that. But I am here to tell you guys a little bit of history in case you didn't know the Long Island crime history. Please like, share, subscribe. We're here to bring you the best stories. Stay tuned. By the way, I go by the name of L Tipsy. You can call me LeVar. That's my government name. And I'm here to just to bring you guys the best stories on Long Island. It's the Long Island crime history. Let's get it. Let's begin. You see that guy right there? That's Nelson Zuniga. The judge ended up giving him 70 to life. I'll explain why. So according to the news, September 2003, in the wake, they left behind victims in Long Beach, Island Park, Rockville Center, as well as Anthony Pataglia. Karen Pataglia found her husband at the back door of their home, shot, stabbed, and badly beaten. The key to the door in his hand. There were a few friends, Nelson Zuniga, Omar De La Rosa, Jani Paez, all students at Freeport High School, along with a female by the name of Marina Musso. Musso was at the wheel of the Nissan Xterior SUV. They drove past the Limbrook LIRR train station and spotted Pataglia walking home alone just before midnight. De La Rosa said, I think this guy has money. And Zuniga said, okay, let's go check it out. The group followed Pataglia almost to his front door, Maranto told Tavares. Zuniga, De La Rosa, and Paez jumped out of the car and ordered Pataglia, give us the money, she said. But he wouldn't give up the money that easily. Pataglia tried to defend himself while Paez was holding him from behind and punched Zuniga, sending him crashing to the ground. De La Rosa took out a knife and stabbed Pataglia twice. Zuniga then got up, pulled the gun on the victim, and said, I'm going to shoot him, she said. Paez was saying, come on, put the gun away, chill out, don't shoot. You might hit me, don't do it, don't do it. But he did it. Pataglia was shot and stabbed before he staggered to his back door, put the key in the lock, and this is when he was found by his wife. So eventually they all were arrested, and they all got certain different time. The reason why Nelson got hit with 70 to life is because he showed no remorse. He wasn't apologetic. He did not apologize to the family. He was kind of laughing in the courtroom in front of the judge. <laughs> And then the judge finally looked at him and said, one day when you're about 80 something years old and you're rotting in that cell, you're gonna wish you were able to talk to this kid and tell him how stupid you were. Welcome to the rest of your life. Please like, share, subscribe. And also, I need you guys to do me a big favor. Leave your comments below and let me know if I should make these scenes longer because I have a lot more content that I could give you guys. I just don't want to bore you to death. Stay tuned. Stay with me. Long Island Crime History.